What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Random Things. Uh, we are back with Flashing Light. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at custom patterns and how exactly to do them and go about doing that. So when you first get the game, you may be a little confused as to how. And, you know, people have custom light pattern like this, like these. Because when you first look, We'll take the van. When you first go in and you choose a spot, I have mods on, so. All these little white dot, these triangles are spots where you can put a light. So when you click one, here's all your different bars you can do. And you see these numbers. One, two, three. So they're, uh, they're pre-made presets but if you want to have a custom you go to this little pencil right here and you'll click that and that's when we get these and that's where it can get confusing and you can also change depending on what light you're looking at you can change the color of the, the lens I guess you could say so there's a black lens or a red lens sorry or amber but that's not changing the color of the lights. It's just the lens. So we want clear. To change the color, you'll go to steps. And now this is what confuses people. And it takes you a while to get used to it. So each step, each time it changes, it's going. it's just going through the steps. And then you choose the speed of the step here. So now if I increase these, let's go to speed 20. Update changes. So it, it's not seconds, obviously. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how what that number means in terms of how fast. But this is speed 20 on each one. Bring it all the way down to 1. Rapid. So when you look at, let's slow it down. So each flash is going to a different step. So let's add a step. I'll show you how that changes it. So now we got a new step. It's blank. Let me show you what happens. Uh, we'll do green so you can see easily. This is the front of the bar. This is the rear of the bar. Alright, so now I'm going to hit update changes. So now we're going to step one, two, three. One, two, three. Click that. Alright. So, obviously, Everyone's going to have their favorite bar. I This is my favorite bar that's currently available because um, it's closest to the Valor light bar, which they do not have yet. So I, I make a few different patterns for this bar. and instead, of, So if you do a pattern, instead of having to go back and change it every time, after you make one that you like, you can go up to here and hit Export, name it, and it will save the pattern for this bar that you made. So let's get in, let's go back to my Tahoe. That's where we got a lot of custom going on. So I, with my bar here, I tried to copy the Valor pattern. That's used on the, right, they used on the West Coast. So you can see I have six steps. Turn that off real quick. And I have it on speed one. Now the downside is, um, I wish they would have it so you can change the speeds on the front and rear. Because normally the front's a lot faster than the rear. But there's some workarounds to that, which is what I did. So first off, for anyone that likes my pattern that I have going on here, if you like this and want it, um, I'm going to show you the steps right now. So you can go ahead and pause and copy it if you want. 
So step one, that's what we got. Two, three, four, five, six. So, as you can tell, the back, it, there's only two different ones, although there's six. So to slow that, to slow that flash down, because the fast is so rapid, if I if I had changed it for every step, it would be it'd be rapid, it'd be too fast. So how that slowed down was the first three steps are the same, so it stays longer in that spot, and it switches to the other side. So basically, when you see this go from left to right one time, that's all six steps going. And I have some different variations of this one saved. Um, if I go to my charger, I did the rear a little different. I did flashing back and forth with red and blue with a little bit of amber there. I try not to go all out on my lights. Alright, and let's take a look at another one a lot of people like are these. I personally think that's too much. Um, I'm waiting for them to add split ones. And there's only two, it's pretty simple. So if you think this is too much, what you can do is, which is what I pretty much did, is you can remove these two. And then just go ahead and remove those two. Update. Then there you go. And then, if you want to add, let's see, if you want to add white, some people like to add white. We need to add another step to make a match. So let's do blue. Let me see how that turns out. Just a quick one. So that's how I kind of did it with mine. Um, this is how my runners are. So we, we went over the top light bar. The traffic visor, you cannot change the pattern on that. Um, but if you've played the game, you obviously know you can leave the pattern, you can leave that off, or you can just not put it on the car at all. Or if your emergency lights are off, you can leave the pattern on. Alright, so another thing you can do, if you go to select vehicle, so I showed you how to save a single light on its own by itself, but if you want to save your entire vehicle um, lighting pattern, you go to select vehicle, make sure you're on the one that you want, then you'll hit export vehicle config, and that will do the same thing. So that's good if you have, because when I have the unmarked Tahoe, obviously my lighting is different. I have lights in the window, and no bar so it's going to be different but I don't have to sit there and change it all so let's get into global global confuses people also so if you see here I have it to where this light flashes same time as this one flashes this one only flashes same time as this one and then I have these two flashing at the same time. Let me find a vehicle where it's a little easier to tell. Alright, I know a way. I can make it easier to tell by doing this. 
Let me just get rid of these ones real quick so you can see it better. Alright. So to get that to work, there's two globals you can do. Um, so basically for this light and this light to flash at the same time, you want it on one global. For this one, this one to flash at the same time, but not the same as this one, you need it on the other global. And same with this. So my mirror flashes different timing than that one. So global is when you click the little button. So this one's global too. This one is global one. So you'll see if I hit global two, now they blink at the same time. But I don't want that. Now these sliders change the speed of when they switch between the globals. Now it's a lot slower. So you also may see I added some white in these two front ones. If you want to see how I did that, go ahead and look at my steps here for it. Take a moment to pause if you want to keep it. Step one, two, three, four, five, and six. And same with that one, but blue, obviously. Alright, so yeah, so that's what the globals is. Another example, how the mirrors flash at different times. So some people like them to flash at the same time, so we'll change it to global 2. And now you got them flashing simultaneously. These are still different because they're on different globals. These are going at the same because they're on different globals. If I change to global 1, now they're going to be separate. So that's pretty simple. It just takes getting used to, that's all. And obviously, I'm sure you've noticed, I have mod skins attached. We'll be doing another video uh, shortly on how to use mods, how to pick out mods, how to assign mods, which could be complicated. All the above on that. And there's also siren mods. So that's pretty much the rundown on light configurations. Um, oh yeah, let's look at... A lot of people love... these bars right here. So you got the older halogen and the newer LED presets of course. But let me show you, these pretty much you can change the same way, except with these you have more options over here. You can change the lens like I showed you, but now you can also change the rotation speed and the rotation direction. Put them on max. See how fast they go now. Let's see. And you can also change for the steps on this. So this one's a little different. For the steps, the steps only change this rear amber bar and these two front flashing lights. So if you're in California, you will commonly see this. Underneath the actual LED baler um, that they don't have yet. But that one has little LEDs under it as well.
So those will just stay on like that. Now your back is flashing. So for these, you're obviously not using steps to change your light pattern here. Your light pattern changes by all of these. Basically, since it's a rotating light bar like this, there really only there's really not much custom patterns you can do. You can only just change the speed and direction. Or the colors. So that's changing the color of the actual light down here. It's where you can change the color of the actual housing. So let me make them all clear. So now they're clear. And I got all amber. I want to do all blue. There's all blue with clear housing. Let's see what all blue with blue housing looks like. It's probably going to look darker blue. So that's clear housing blue. This is blue housing blue. So that's kind of how that bar works. There's lots of bars you can choose from. Now, the two most popular requested bars that they don't have yet, like I said, is the Valor light bar, which is, if you don't know, it's it's pretty much just like this one, except instead of rotating, um, it's pretty much like this bar, but in the shape of that triangle. Um, that's the most requested, and then obviously the other most requested is visor lights, because this is the closest we got so far. Um, right now there's no lights to go across here and here. They'll be coming soon. People are waiting. But... Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to go over when it comes to lighting. I don't think so. I think we've pretty much covered it. Like I said, I told you how to save it. Oh, if you want, if you want these running bar pattern, if you want to copy my running bar pattern here, um, let me show you how. Can't remember if I showed you this one. I think I did already. But yeah, this is flashing lights, and that is how you do you custom lighting patterns. If you have any questions, just leave some comments below. We'll take a look at all my vehicles here. Oh, the old Crown Vic. Everyone loves Crown Vic. So if you want to go old school, A lot of people like to put this bar on the ground big because it goes with its age. But yep, this is uh, how to do, how to use the lighting steps, how to do custom patterns and flashing lights. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Leave any questions below in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe.